Just want to say hello to everyone, and today we're going to talk about what is our purpose. So, what is the purpose? Is the question. Why are we here? What is the purpose of life? And a lot of us don't really know the purpose. We don't know why we're here. Sometimes we just think that we exist, just happen to exist for no reason, and then we. Our place in this place, all together, all of us, and we have to learn to cope, and to survive, and to get along. Sometimes we don't get along. Countries waging war against a certain country, people not getting along. You have killing, stealing. And it's terrible. But why are we here? Why do we exist? And、uh, what is our purpose, right? Now, if you look at the Bible, there's a passage in the Bible that really points out, and it's in Ecclesiastes chapter twelve. Verse thirteen, and it says, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man." Let's analyze this passage here for a moment. The Bible stated that to fear God and to keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It says, "Man, right here, the me, which means mankind, is for all of us, women and men, children, and we. If we have kids, we have to teach our kids too. That a whole di- a whole duty is to serve him. And so the Bible said, it's our whole purpose is to serve him." That's a very strong statement if you think about it, right? I mean, we are taught to follow our hearts since we're younger. You know, just do what is right in our own sight. But believing in God and following God. Is a whole purpose, and we're conditioned, we're distracted, or we're taught to put other things above God. Let's re-evaluate our goals and our dreams in our lives right now. Right, I mean, how often do we? Talk to God. How often do we pray to Him? How often do do we ask Him for help when we need help? How often do we go to Him? We don't go to God enough. That's why we have so many problems in the world because we're doing our own things. And so we're so distracted now from what is right. From what we should be doing, and it's sad, actually. And you know, we have to realize this. If any of us still love God, you know, still trying to cling to God, even through our struggles and through our low points in life, and we're still clinging to the hope. That is great, because that is our our、um, lifeline, basically. 
if we have that, if we have that belief, that hope that, that God is there through tough times and good times, and through our lowest point, we know that we can always trust in God. And even through our sins, guys, we are never perfect. Even pastors or church leaders that are teaching us the Word of God, they're not perfect. They're still human beings like us. They're still going through struggles with temptation and sin, maybe more than us, because when you're doing something good for God, the struggle or the obstacle is quite immense. So don't think that just because we're deep in our sin that we don't deserve uh, to be to go to God. No, it should be the opposite. God said that come to me wherever you are. Don't wait until we're right with him so that we can serve him. We can serve him even when we're not right. When we're at our lowest point, we can still serve him. That's what he wants. Now, the devil... He's a liar. Satan is a liar. Usually when we commit sin against God, you know, we tend to hide ourselves on, or uh, seclude ourselves from God or from people, and, and we don't go to Him. But God doesn't want that. He wants us to go to Him regardless of what we're going through, regardless, no matter if we think that what we're going through is so tough and no one can understand us. God can understand us. He's always there waiting for us to accept Him. See, God gave us free will. He's not going to make us love Him. Then all of us would be like a bunch of robots. We wouldn't have a mind of our own to make decision to love Him, to accept Him or not. That's not how he wants us to be. He wants us to uh, to be creatures of free will and and to choose um, if we serve him or not. It's more genuine. It's like when we're in a relationship, when we, you know, when you have a girlfriend or a wife, right? Um, you don't want to force that person to to love you. You don't want to, you know, uh, try to coerce them or intimidate them to love you because it wouldn't be genuine. It wouldn't be as special. You know, if, if they love you for who you are, if they accept you for who you are, it's more genuine. That's how it's supposed to be. Well, it's the same with God. He doesn't want us to be forced to serve Him because, it, you know, you if you take away our free will, then you know we 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 wouldn't we wouldn't be a human being we'll be a bunch of robot right robots and so the bible said our whole purpose is to serve him and keep his commandment and so we have to continue to go to him even through our tough times through our struggle because if you look at the disciples, they were not perfect. Um, they, they, you know, they were um, a bunch of sinners just like us. But the one thing is they, they still follow God. And then the process of sancti- sanctification can take a lifetime. We can, we we can never be right perfectly in his eyes. Uh, but he still loves us. But it's our effort. If if we are if we have the the heart to serve him, to lay our lives for him, 
lay our life down for Him, then He will accept us. But we do have to make that effort. God is not going to make us to love Him. We got to want it. It's like everything. We have to want to love Him. So that's all for today. And uh, I thank you, everyone, for supporting. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more. You know, I want to do more videos because I love God and I want to share Him with others. So, and if you can support me, it means that you are assisting me and helping me to share His gospel, right? I mean, we have nothing to lose. We're helping each other to spread the gospel before He returns. Thank you, guys. Bye.